morning. Good morning. It's half past four in the morning and we're at Stansted Airport. So you're tired. Yes. Even a really strong burger from coffee is not waking you up at all. No. So looking forward to getting on the plane having to sleep. I'm hoping. Yeah. Apart from the uh, severe weather warning in uh, Bulgaria at the moment. We'll see when we get there. So it's about five o'clock in the afternoon now and uh, we've arrived and we're under, I don't know, probably about eight inches of snow um, and there's no power to the house, uh, there's no signal for the phone, um, so we're a bit stranded. Um, we've got to be in Rousseau tomorrow at half nine, so hopefully by then we'll have some, uh, some power on. Um, we've got gas so we can at least cook something and we've got a few battery powered um, lights so a little bit of light and we've got something we can at least get something hot down us um, but I think we'll just end up going to bed and hope, hoping for the best in the morning I've had to try and dig a space for the car outside it's uh, yeah it's been interesting to say the least well there we go Tea in the dark. Thank God for battery powered lights. We've got, we've got plenty of blankets. We've got battery powered lights. We've got some candles. Um, we'll be okay. So um, we're just going to wrap up in pyjamas and stuff and get into bed. It's half past five ish. 
Um, and uh, see so lights come on later, but yeah. I don't hold out much hope. We've got beer as well. So oh, yeah, okay. we've got beer. We, we've had food. We've had food and beer. We've had feel, food and beer, so... I feel, feel quite happy, pleased to be here, actually, and it's, yeah. it's, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I, I love it. The scenery is um, absolutely the, beautiful. The, the, the snow, whatever, is beautiful, but yes, we could have we could have done with the electricity. It would have been quite handy. But, yeah. Health <laughs> and safety at the airport Oh, that exist. was great. The, the, um, the steps they put out... It was it was like sheet compacted ice yeah, at the top. Nobody you, you, couldn't, the you, couldn't, you couldn't step out of the plane without grabbing hold of the uh, of the rail. It was like it was like well, you wouldn't get away with that in the UK. <laughs> and the, the cabin crew were just going, mind your step <laughs> as you step out, please mind your step. So yeah, I haven't even cleared the, um, the runways or anything. I did really to any great degree. No, someone, so, a, old, a little old man had been out with a broom and pushed the snow to the side. Yeah, it was amazing. So. Um, but the flight was, I mean. It was a bit bumpy in, in part because nowhere of the near as bumpy as I thought it was going to be because there was there were supposed to be severe gales today. Yeah, um, but no, it wasn't. It, we just had a couple of. Dips, I mean, there was a lot. We? There was a lot of snow blowing across. It was drifting across the roads and places where where they were open, but it's not been. We don't really felt the wind, and it's it's, it's quite calm here actually. Yes. Um, so yeah, I'll just see what it's like um, in the morning now because we're morning. It's uh, Monday morning now. Um, the electric came on last night about eleven o'clock ish. So. We managed to get some heating on and, <clears throat> and stay warm and everything. So we were supposed to be in Rousse this morning, um, but it's just... Let me just spin the camera. Yeah, the road outside the house is just like sheet ice. I, don't think so. I, can, I can't even stand on it. And I've got to try and get up that hill. I don't think I can even move the car. And I'm just conscious of the fact we've got about sort of five or six miles up there before we hit a main road. Um, with umpteen places where we can get stuck, so I think we'll um, we'll just call it a day for today. We we'll reschedule for tomorrow, um, so we'll have a day's just tootling around the house. I think. But yeah, you can see the depth of the snow here; it's just unbelievable. Um, oh, I can't even stand up in it. I can't think you can even see it. Must be about sort of eight inches at least depth. So, yeah. Yeah, it's about minus two at the moment, so um, it's about half eight in the morning. Um, but the sun's out and it's due to get up to about three degrees by sort of lunchtime-ish. Um, and then uh, it goes back down to zero overnight, but this time tomorrow it should be one or two degrees. So kind of hoping that today, a bit of sun on it, it'll pretty much go, or at least at least the ice will go. And we'll be able to drive up off the other road, so reshaped everything for tomorrow so uh, we'll have a see what we can do here today Right, Tuesday morning, um, it's looking, I managed to move the car off the road yesterday, so as it thawed out, it's looking a little bit better. It's still icy, but it's actually one degree at the moment, so uh, it is thawing. Uh, it did just freeze again last night, so we've got to head off to the Rousseau today, otherwise there's no point, there's be no point in just coming across here at all. So we're going to go and uh, give it a go, just wait for the car to defrost.
Good morning. Uh, Wednesday morning now. Um, it's very much milder today. Yes. I've not looked at the uh, temperature. I've not stepped out and done. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, snow is definitely melting. Um, we made it out of the village yesterday. Um, main roads were pretty clear. It was just a bit awkward, sort of. Roads sort of running out of the village. That was a bit. Uh, one track basically wasn't yes. sort of uh, in this, you know, um, it not really met somebody the other way, but we made it. Got to Rousse, did all the stuff we needed to do. Didn't do any filming yesterday because it was pretty much just uh, walking around Rousse, um, in and out of places, offices. Um, sitting waiting for people doing paperwork and signing stuff and what have you. So, yeah, nothing major. So, everything's done anyway, so that's the main thing. So, we've got a spare day today basically. So, We've had a bit of a lie in. It's uh, about half past eight or something now, which is <laughs> really late for us. Um, yeah, they've been out uh, with the track and that clearing the snow I could hear earlier, so everything's looking good out there. We've got to go back home tomorrow, so we're early start in the morning to Sophia, so hopefully the roads will be okay, though it's due to freeze again tonight, so we'll see what it's like in the morning. Um, yeah, so we're just going to do a few little bits and pieces around the house today. Yes. Uh, yep, yeah, keep yourselves busy. So, not much work getting done just yet. We're enjoying the morning sunshine, having a coffee on the balcony, oh. watching the snow dripping away. Our neighbours just uh, been across and brought us a little bit of uh, homemade red wine. So we're just going to have a little taster of that and see what it's like. Oh, it smells strong. <laughs> yeah, I imagine it will be very strong. It isn't actually. That's really nice. Is it? Let's have a taste. There's no after it. then so it's about five o'clock um and we're, we're done for the day wednesday yeah so off early in the morning to the airport so we've done we just we haven't done anything major but we've lots of little little jobs we've done around the, the place over the last uh well over the two days that we've had here so i'll just walk you around what we've done so in the kitchen we've just put a few extra pictures up and things that we had knocking around the coffee, um, sign up. coffee sign up the uh, flowers around the flowers around the, around the chalkboard that was it there's a little sign down there the tea towel on the the cupboard now we've, we've actually taken this cupboard apart actually and um we need to make a new door i was hoping to salvage the door but i'm gonna have to make a new door so i've got a shelf in there and um, the, cu the, cu the cupboard glass. the cupboard now at least fits the, the door now at least fits the cupboard, but um, I think we need to make another one. Um, we were going to hopefully paint that, but it's um, we've got some nice blue. We're going to paint that all blue, like a dark dark blue. Um, same with the little shelf over here and just sort of accessorise it. Oh, there we go, there's the colour. Um, so, yeah, didn't get around to doing that, but never mind. That can be done for next time. Um, Claire's put some um, different fabric behind the, the doors on the dresser. Um, which we brought across with us, which looks and it's fitted on properly and uh, looks a lot nicer than, uh, than before. Um, one thing I did do in here was change the, oh, there's still some washing up liquid in the thing, but I changed the, 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 the sink, the drain hole, plug yeah, hole. The, the plug hole, that's it, that's one, the word I'm looking for, the plug hole in the sink. Um, we had one that like sort of twisty, flipped in flip and one, and it, it just, I, I found it really annoying to use. So. We're down to a standard one with, with an old fashioned one with a plug and a, and a hole. Nice and straightforward. Um, I think that was about it in here, wasn't it? Um, yeah. So, yeah, apart from that, we've done, there was, we had a lot of um, expanding foam we put into sort of various holes 
in last here and, and, in, and in the living room last time we were here and that was all needed cutting back and including a few bits outside so that was all done sanded the door uh, oh yeah we got the door to fit i forgot we did that yes yes this this main door we've never had it been uh, it's never never actually closed properly so we've actually got that to the stage where it does actually stay shut now which is good because it keeps a bit of although it's got a massive hole a massive um, gap underneath it it does at least keep some of the uh, some of the heat uh, in the living room um so yeah, that was about it we did in there i think didn't we you can't see in there here now but we've managed to um from drain water collection rain water collection so for yeah, about, about 45 litres of water free there. water for um laundry and washing up yeah yeah so and we didn't start that straight away when we got here no we obviously we need to look at big tanks and things for that um ultimately but um for the time being that's uh Saves us having to go and buy water or, or go and get it from the well. So, uh, right, we've put some lights across the top of the it. bed. Which I play would look nicely demonstrate there. There we go. Um, and we just put a couple of shelves up on the, these ones were already put up when I built the units, but the, the corner ones were uh, added on this time just to sort of give us a little bit more space now ultimately i want to put some electric through to here and put some usb points just in the corner over here so we can sort of charge phones and things um from there and <coughs> yeah, just, i was just turning the light off to give the full effect there we go that's quite nice um and then going through to the bathroom we have sorry it's gone a bit dark but we'll get light in a minute there we go and now at long last and it's taken me a long time to get to do this. I now have a proper light in the bathroom. One that actually illuminates everywhere. And it's also, it's, it's, uh, it's automatic. It just comes on as you walk in. It's, sort of, it's got a, a motion sensor in the bulb. Um, so that's, that was a job well done. And I've been, one, I, one I've been trying to do for every, the last few times. I've played around with all sorts of different lights in here. Um, and none of them have really worked, so I'm quite pleased I've had that finally done. There's a little plaque we put up in here as well. And the other thing I did with uh, in here was just play around with these. Um, we put some magnets in the curtains that we go through, so they, when they uh, kind of push them together, kind of defeated the object there. Clay. So basically, when the when the curtains shut, they just close together, and they stay closed. So that's they're not working as well as I would have liked, perhaps. But I'll need to stand back from the bed to show you um <clears throat> but it just it's 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 kind of done the job it makes it a bit tidier than it, it than it was but it's not quite closing properly at the bottom i think it probably needs some stronger magnets Have you um, yeah that's another another thing i've forgotten we've done as well we've got the um a little um put a one of the water butts with the water into the, into a like water basket just to hand out of the way this is like a little usb uh, charging yeah, I think so. That's basically where we can get some water uh, for use with the jug and bowl in the in the bathroom part. So again, that's almost in a sort of Victorian setting. We've got something really modern with the USB charging point. <laughs> I spent a bit of time looking at the toilet as well. I wanted to try and run a um, a urine diverter in that, but. There's not enough space in that particular toilet to do it, which I'm really quite annoyed about because I love that toilet. But um, we're going to have to, I'm going to have to make something up. Now, I've got some plans for that and I'll do that next time I'm over. Um, and then, and another thing we've done is we've replaced the bulbs in the lights. Um, really should have chosen to do this when it was daylight rather than the darkness but you can't really see them let me see if i can turn the one off in the, in the kitchen probably not no but you can probably hear it basically we've got um lights with a fan built in um so you can either have it lights fan only light only or light and fan 
Um, we had that one when we came across, when we drove across last time. We just found it really, really handy when it was really hot having a fan here. So we decided to put them in all in all the three rooms basically. So um, that's something else we've done. They may look a bit sort of modern, but they do they do a, a sterling job. And they've also got um, a space and a padding so that you can put um, essential oils in them. So you get a scent when it gets warm, it circulates the, yeah. uh, so if you want to put something like citronella to get rid of the flies or tea tree or something, or whatever scent you want to put citronella, if it's sunny and there's, I mean, we didn't have an issue with flies, but if you do, you can put citronella in on the pad and it will um, dissipate throughout the, the room then. So we've put those in the living room, the bedroom and the kitchen. Yeah, so that's about it. We're heading off early in the morning, so um, yeah, I know, I know. Um, we may well be back in January. We'll just have to see how things pan out. Um, if not, then probably next time will be probably sort of springtime. I will probably drive across again with uh, Lucy Dog and Toe and uh, a van full of uh, our belongings possibly with the intention of staying for a few months that time and having a proper um, crack at it crack at it yeah and have a proper sort of try your hand at living uh, here for a few months before we finally sell up in the UK and um, that's the idea anyway so we'll see how that goes um, I'm busy at the moment trying to sort out selling everything off that needs going and try to throw out stuff that we don't need and we'll have in the UK and it's been a slow that's process, no small it's, task no <laughs> um, so, not when you've got two people's life's belongings. No, and two people who tend to hoard things as well, which doesn't help. No. <laughs> but, and, well, we've got more than that because we've still got some of your dad's stuff and some of your mum's stuff as well, yeah. to be fair. So. Um, and your mum your mom really was a hoarder, so uh, yeah, um, lots of stuff to go through. But, but a lot yeah. of mum's stuff has come in handy. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it's come over actually. There's quite a lot of stuff that's, uh, that's your mum's over here now. So, yeah, so that's it for now. So, uh, catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.